What's up everybody? It's Titanic Feet Jack and I'm back at you again with another video today. We're about to take a look at an upcoming sneaker and I'm pretty excited about it. But before we get into that, I need a couple things from you guys. I need you to hit that like button on today's video. Also do it that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I come back with another video. Do drop them comments down below in the comment section. Yep, I do respond to the comments. And sub up to the channel if you like what you see. Now today, this sneaker, uh, it was very limited when it released, uh, released back when, ooh, no, a long time ago. I was a few years removed from high school, but, uh, they were released in very limited quantities. If I'm correct, I believe these were released only about 36 pairs of these. Uh, I'm just gonna get into it, bring out the box, you see the box. It could be anything that's in this box. A black on black Nike box. Give you a 360 of the box. There you go. We got Nike logos on the side. And here is that box label. You can pause the video right there if you like to read it. And here's what underneath the box looks like. I'm going to go ahead and read the uh, box label. It says Nike don't hide retro PRM. Leave that stands for premium and the colorway is black Holland and white and this is a US size 14 your boy size and I'm not sure what the retail price on these are gonna be I believe they're gonna be like $150 if you have a slide out box these are currently on the sneakers app so yeah these will release on the Nike sneakers app uh, you have white paper, a little smooth on rough on one side, excuse me, rough on the other. And that's everything that's inside of the box. And deep down in there, you see that green and white YCM sticker. That is everything that can with the box. If you haven't been sitting under a rock, you probably know what these is already. So I'm not gonna hold you any longer. Let's get into the shoe. Here we go, guys. I was talking about none other than the Nike High Don't Pro, the Wu Tang. Yep. These uh released, like I said earlier, in limited quantities. About 36 pairs were released, so this was a very limited sneaker. It is considered a grill for a lot of people, but uh, if you're not familiar with Wu-Tang Clan, they are a rap group from the streets of Staten Island. Their nickname was the Killer Bees. You got the Killer Bees color blocking on here. They are uh, leg wear in black and yellow or black and pollen in this instance. But to name the people of the group, if y'all didn't know, we got uh we got the rizza the jizza we got ghost face killer we got old dirty bastard we got ray Quine. we got old dirty bastard rest in peace uh we got method man we got inspector deck we got you guy we got capadonna we got master killer to name the members of the wu-tang clan but let me know your thoughts on this sneaker uh and I still bump their music. My favorite song is Triangle, just to put that out there. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get into the sneaker. You got a all black. The majority black is, uh, I'm sorry, the majority of the upper is black. And it's a nice tumble leather. It's on a black base, I should say. You got that black in the quarter panels right here. You got it going around your ankle padding. And you have it on your toe box. You have that pollen colorway going around the mud guard and your Nike swoosh and the oval is right there. And most importantly, on the rear heel, you have that Wu Tang logo. Midsole, white midsole. You got that pollen trim at the bottom, which leads to the outsole. You got your Nike note slash Jordan 1 outsole. Standard pollen colorway. Look at the heel of the sneaker. You got your little tab right here and the ankle padding is so plush and soft in that black colorway tumble leather as we go to the medial side of the sneaker you have more of that pollen colorway on your overlays and you have a pollen nike swoosh you have tumble leather right here in the black colorway nice well executed Piling on your uh, lace eyelets and your mud guard. Same white midsole. 
with the trim of the pollen at the very bottom. I'm gonna get to the toe box, but let's get it inside. It do come stuffed with that tissue. There you go. And I do that to give you guys the best look possible of the toe box. Look how nice and soft that leather is. The leather so soft, I really love it. You got your black nylon tongue all the way up. You got your woven patch with Wu-Tang branding on here. And it does come with these pollen laces. These are the only laces these come with. You have pollen piping on top of the tongue. And on the back side of the tongue. Give you guys a look at that right there. And you do have a pollen sock liner. And the material feels like a silk colorway. So they try to use premium materials on these sneakers. Because this is a nice collab insert feel like it doesn't come out i'm not going to mess up my pair so if i can get you a good look on the inside you do have a black insert with pollen color nike branding on here and you do have a size sticker of size 14 in here and let's see can i read you guys the uh production on here we do have a u.s size 14 and the production date looks like February 24th to June the 10th. So almost four months of production on these. Let me know your thoughts on these and what's your plans off for release date. Uh, I believe these will be attainable, but you just have to put in the leg where we're gonna get ahead and end the video. Like I always tell you guys, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know but it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feed Jake, signing out.